I'm Adam Anschell for Pro Football Weekly, along with PFW draft expert Nolan Naraki, as we take a look at Nolan's mock draft picks 16 through 20, and Nolan at 16 are the Jacksonville Jaguars. Some misses recently at times in the draft. Where do you see him going with this pick? I think they still have a pressing need at defensive end. Uh, Adrian Claiborne from Iowa is a guy that could fit that left defensive end position currently occupied by Derek Harvey. And then they went to trade up three years ago when uh, Del Rio moved up and tried to land Derek Harvey in hopes that he'd fill that need and be able to bring more of a pass rush. He hasn't been able to do it yet, so I think uh, that's where a guy like Adrian Claiborne can bring a lot of help. It still seems like they're still continuing trying to fill that same role over and over again. We'll see if Claiborne does it. At 17, the New England Patriots. Two first-round picks for them. You know they're not keeping both of them. They're going to trade back. Do they keep this one? Uh, this is the pick that they got in return for Richard Seymour. Yeah. Cameron Jordan from Cal is very smart, versatile, and he has NFL bloodlines. They're all qualities that Bill Belichick seeks and his defensive players, and I think he would really fit well in their front seven. Really dominated at the Senior Bowl, so I think helping his stock there would be a good fit with the Patriots. At number 18, the San Diego Chargers. Disappointing season last year. They've lost some guys on defense that was so good a couple of years ago. Do you see them going defense this time? Yeah, they, they, you know, they lost Sean Merriman, and you know, they didn't have a lot of success so far with uh, Larry English from Northern Illinois. So I, I think they've got to look back at that outside linebacker position. Ryan Kerrigan from Purdue would be a very safe pick. They've had success with Sean Phillips converting him to outside linebacker. And he's a guy that's uh, got a very high floor. You know, he's not going to miss. You know exactly what you're getting. And I think that's what A.J. Smith has gravitated to in recent drafts. I think he makes a lot of sense from that perspective. Yeah, Kerrigan seems like one of those high energy guys that you know what you're going to get. At number 19, the New York Giants. Some changes there as well. Disappointing end of the season. Who's the pick for the Giants? Well, like, you know, Tiki Barber recently announced that he's coming back, but I think Mark Ingram would be a much better fit for him. You know, he's, he's a very violent runner, excellent in short area burst, and I can really carry the load for him, especially with uh, Mont Bradshaw potentially leaving through free agency. And, you know, questions still about Brandon Jacobs. You know, he started uh, declining last year, didn't look quite as quick or strong running through the hole. So I think running back is a big need for the Giants, and he'd be a great guy that fits what Tom Coughlin likes to do. Yeah, the Giants never afraid to have a bunch of backs back there. We've seen Derek Ward through the years, Tiki, Brandon Jacobs, Ahmad Bradshaw. A good fit there with Mark Ingram. At number 20, the surprise Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, a lot of rookies last year made an impact. Who do they go with this year? Well, defensive line is one place they can look, but we went with an offensive tackle. Tyron Smith would help fill either side of the line on right tackle or left tackle. He played right at USC, but he's got, it's got left tackle traits. If you look at their the current depth on the roster, Jeremy True, Trueblood really struggled last season. And I think uh, you know, on the left tackle, Donald Penn, he's just a, a marginal starter on the left side. So I think they had enough concerns on the offensive line that it would make a lot of sense for them to go in that direction. Certainly would just be building talent as they keep working their way towards the playoffs. Surprise last year, see if they can do it again. For the rest of the draft, make sure to follow us on Twitter or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.